Here you go, this is my walk around of my 2011, 2011 Egret. Um, it is on a tandem axle easy loader trailer. Uh, moving through on the side, you're gonna see the front hatch here, which drains from the hatch. Your side, which is your cockpit. And then moving back, you have your drain plug. And then moving all the way to the rear, you have a motor on a six inch setback. Uh, power poles are mounted to the transom, like so, along with trim tabs. And then I also have the active imaging three-in-one transducer from Simrad on the back right. Coming down, you do have your lab well drains along with your drain plug. All right, um, I did remove the polling platform from the boat, but I did retain my push pole and push pole holders just in case if I do happen to get stuck and I still have a very long pole to get me out of. Uh, let's go ahead and step in the boat. Here. We'll go ahead and start at the bow, which trolling motor, obviously. Uh, coming back, I did add a cleat over here and a cleat over there. Jumping up to the front, we're gonna open up the front hatch. This is a Kevlar carbon edition, so I do have the carbon lids. Looking down, this is where your anchor would go and your other storage with anchor holder, along with your trolling motor plug. Go ahead and close that. Soft closed lids with locks. Moving to the second hatch. This does have the live well and bait tank, which I think is standard on all 2011s. This one actually comes with an additional door to go right into the bait well. Moving back to the another storage bin. Uh, this one is, um, I do have my trolling motor battery and charger in there, as you can see there. And my fuel water separator. Go ahead and put this back in along with lights, light up everything. Go ahead and close this. Uh, along with drains too, that drains out this side that you saw earlier. Moving to the back, we have the rod lockers that egrets are known for. Go ahead and open that up. Massive storage on both sides for, I could even tell you how many rods, more than you want to carry on a normal day. Moving to the rear of the boat, you have a very nice center console. All your switches are down here, uh, which will be different from boat to boat, obviously. Uh, moving up, I do have the electronic throttles from Mercury, um, a radio, and I am rock and I do have a Simrad 16 inch, an SS Evo 3S on the dash. It takes up the perfect amount, <laughs> as wide as it is. Um, in here you have the door that has the false floor and then that actually goes all the way down. Get in there so you can see it. Moving back, um, my egret is a little different than some people. Every egrets are a little bit different. Um, I have individual seating. So each one of these can come out. So you can run what you want or if you want to get back to the hatches, it might make it a little bit easier when you're out there on the water. Open it up under the seat storage. Um, this is where I have another one of my chargers for my house and cranking battery that you see there. I have my pumps and my hydraulic pump there. Storage on the left and storage on the right. Gonna close that. To the rear, we have another storage, um, which all three of these, this one and that one, and of course that one is your live well, but this one can be um, altered to be a additional live well. Moving over to the center, you have the normal um, live well tank. I'm not for sure how large it is, but I can tell you one thing, when it's full, there's a lot of water in it. Go ahead and close that. And then last but not least, moving over to the left one, which again can also 
be doubled as a live well, which I have a little bit of stuff in there now. Um, I have oxygen fed tanks that go from here to the main tank. And then of course you have your engine compartment storage lid uh, that takes you down so you can get into your bilge pumps and everything. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, the boat is a little wider, a little longer. Um, but overall, when you're out in the boat and sitting in the boat, it does feel like a much larger vessel than the 189. And you can definitely tell that when you get into big open water. All right, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. See you.